After final preparations at Europe's spaceport in Kourou, ESA's latest ATV is bound for the International Space Station, the ISS. With already four successful ATV missions, this fifth vehicle marks the end of an era, since it is the last ATV ever built. ATV-5 has been named Georges Lemaitre, as a tribute to the Belgian priest and scientist who is considered as being the father of the Big Bang Theory. It will once more be used as a supply vehicle to the ISS and will be the heaviest spacecraft ever launched by the European Space Agency. We have, of course, a, a, as for any ATV, a, a different cargo composition compared to the previous missions. And uh, the peculiarity which uh, we are also proud of for this last mission is that for the first time we will have the full load of potable water, about 850 kilograms, to be uh, uploaded for the benefit of the SS crew. ATV-5's dry cargo load is over 2.6 tons, with over 1.1 tons loaded into the ATV during the so-called late cargo access operation when the ATV is already mounted on top of the Ariane 5 launcher. This 1,100 kilograms is more than double the late cargo load of the previous ATV load. Besides the usual supplies and scientific cargo, ATV-5 will also be embarking a new laser system for supporting approaches and docking to any target, an experiment based on new sensors. ATV-5 has something very special on board, which is called the Lewis experiment. It's a suite of optical sensors, which are uh, discoupled from the ATV functionality. They are just uh, registering data during the approach to the ISS, and uh, they are meant to allow technology advancement in the area of sensors, with the final objective to later on maybe dock or rendezvous to non-cooperative targets. Once the ATV-5 is in space, it will rendezvous with the ISS using its sophisticated guiding system. Upon its approach to the ISS, the ATV's automated docking system will be activated and the Georges Lemaitre will dock to the ISS. The operation will be supervised from inside the ISS by ESA astronaut Alexander Guest. ATV-5 will be attached for six months um, at the International Space Station during that time it will provide the altitude and attitude control to the ISS and, and when all the dry cargo has been removed from the cargo carrier it will be filled step by step with trash cargo so, uh, and after the six months it will undock from the station and uh, will do its controlled uh, destructive re-entry uh, over the South Pacific uninhabited area. With ATV-5's re-entry happening at a less steep angle this time, it provides an opportunity to more fully understand the behavior of the spacecraft. This will be monitored both from the ground and from the ISS, gathering important data for the future destructive re-entry of the ISS itself. This last ATV dive will mark the completion of the ATV program. After 20 years of work on the ATV, ESA will put its investment to good use for future endeavors. Running a program with five AT flawless ATV missions uh, is an achievement we can be very proud of. The good thing about us, it's not a real end. We are going ahead with a service module which we still consider as a derivative of ATV. Um, in that sense, there is a perspective. In the near future, ESA will take part in the NASA Orion program by building the service module of this manned capsule mission using the ATV module as a basis. And the automatic rendezvous technology will be key for future space exploration missions.